Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we are making a brand new user torrent guide uh, for 2024. Going into 2024, we're going to be discussing how to protect your IP while torrenting to make sure you don't get any letters in the mail. We are going to be discussing which VPN to use and we're going to be discussing best practices to make sure you're always staying protected. Now guys, in this video, I'm not endorsing to violate copyright infringement in whatever country you live in. Always follow your local laws. And it, for me personally, I just download Linux ISOs or I download public domain content. I am not endorsing piracy or anything like that. So make sure to always download responsibly. Additionally, guys, this video does not have any YouTube ads on it. Just like all my videos on my channel, I am one of the only YouTubers I know that uses no ads on my channel because I hate ads and I'm a privacy advocate. So I'm not going to be using ads on my videos. Additionally, I don't use any sponsorships on this channel either. So any product I recommend is an affiliate and I personally use it every day and it's a product I stand by. However, if you click on a link, it can help support me if you do want to do that. All right, guys, so let's get into it. So here we go. We're going to be using this little whiteboard. I like to use this to discuss these concepts. All right, guys, so step one, let's go ahead and discuss what happens when you download torrents and torrents and what they even are. Well, it's done through P2P, which is peer to peer. And this means that you're one of these IPs. So someone can see your public IP um, when they click on this IP or look up the location, they can see where you are. Your ISP can connect this IP to you. If someone mails your ISP that you've downloaded something, that's how they find out who it is. This can result in you having suspended service, having some kind of warning or something like that. So it's definitely something you want to protect. You want to hide your IP. Unfortunately, the nature of torrenting means you are sharing files from one computer to another. And that's why these IPs are public. However, you can anonymize it by using a SOX5 proxy or a VPN, which we'll discuss in a second. Um, so as you see here, um, when you download a file, it's called leeching. And when you share a file, it's called seeding. So people who are sharing files are seeders and people who are downloading are leechers. So to get a file, you must leech it. Next up, we can talk about why does it matter if you have your IP exposed as in this fashion? Well, like I said before, having your IP exposed can lead you to getting letters in the mail. Um, it can also be bad for your privacy just for people to see your IP and what you're downloading. So it's something you generally do want to protect. Um, so now let's go on to number three. How do you hide your IP address? So there are two ways to do it. Like I said, a VPN or SOX proxy. Now VPN is probably the more common way to hide your IP and it's probably what people talk about more often than not. However, my preferred way is actually using a SOX by proxy. Uh, a couple reasons. One is that they usually affect your speed less. Two is that you can generally kind of set it and forget it, which means you can put it in the application, save it, and then you won't have to worry about it anymore and it's gonna anonymize your IP address. There are some other reasons to use VPNs. Primarily while well, VPNs do kind of hide your traffic more, um, they kind of encrypt your traffic so that your ISP can't even see your torrenting. But in my opinion, it doesn't really matter. As long as you hide your IP, you should be good to go. Um, it just kind of depends on how paranoid you are. If you care if your ISP knows you're torrenting, then maybe you do want to use a VPN. So guys, you might be wondering, well, which SOX5 proxy provider should I use then? Which is a good VPN to use? Well, I've been testing these VPNs for a long time. Um, I like to use TorGuard and NordVPN for torrenting. NordVPN lately has been giving me better speeds. I've done some tests and they give me better speeds. So I've been going to be recommending that for this video. It's also one of the VPNs that does provide SOX5 proxy access. So find that link in the description down below. Basically with Nord, you're just going to have to go to the manual credential section and copy the username and password and then put it in the application. So how are you going to do that? Well, it's pretty simple and we're going to show you here on the screen. The basic instructions are to make it just like this picture. You're going to want it to be port 1080. You're going to put the SOX5 proxy address, pick SOX5. You could click all these boxes and enter in the username and credentials. Now, specifically with NordVPN, they have a section where you can do manual configuration in the account panel. And you'll just copy the username and password. I could show you that right here. Basically, all you do is go to your account panel after paying for the service. And then you're going to go to view details on NordVPN, go to set up Nord manually, and then you're going to verify your email address. Once you do this, you could find your username and password. And just like our thing here, you're just going to put the username and password right here. 
for the address, you're going to look up the proxy addresses. There is a list of the support page of the various servers. You can find that by going to Nord's support page and look up Soxify proxy, and there will be a guide to set it up. Um, these are also the addresses you can use. So pretty much what you'll do, just like here, is you'll copy this address and you'll put it here as a host. Every time you torrent with Qubit torrent, your IP up here is gonna be anonymized. So there are also ways to make sure that your IP address isn't leaking. And that's when you want to download kind of like a test file. Now there are a lot, uh, there are a lot of tools to do this, but one good way to do it is go to ipleak.net. You're gonna do this torrent activation. You wanna add this link and it's going to put it in here. And then you'll refresh this page. And then if it shows that you're using a VPN, it means you are anonymized. So that is my preferred way to do it. So that's how you make sure it's not leaking. Now you might be saying, well, Tom, I still wanna use a VPN. I don't really wanna use a proxy. So another way you could do that is you go into QBitTorrent, go to tools, options. You're gonna to want to go down to advanced. And from here, you're gonna to wanna to bind the network interface to your VPN connection. So this is the way to do it. Um, right now I have Surfshark installed on my computer, another decent option. Surfshark, Nord, and TorGuard are my top three VPNs right now. Um, so what you wanna do is find the um, adapter for that VPN you're using. So let's say if I was using Surfshark, I could bind it to this. This basically means nothing will ever torrent unless the wire, sh um, wire guard connection from Surfshark is connected. Um, so that's if you wanna bind your VPN the safest way. Um, but you can just use the proxy, you can even just turn the VPN on and use the kill switches, which basically um, are implemented in the various applications. So you could check that out if you want to, but this is generally the most secure way to do it. All right, guys, I hope that made sense. I hope it wasn't too much of a data dump. Um, if you would like, I'm going to put this uh, little article that I wrote here. Um, I'm going to be using, I'll be making a little guide here on my website. Um, if you want the full instructions, a little guide here, like I made here for this video, um, check the link in the description down below and I'll make a little guide there for you on my website. All right, guys, see you in the next video very soon.